We're heading back to the Tony Hawk series, guys. I'm the king of the underground. Underground. Under, under, underground. I'm the king of the underground. Underground. Under, under, underground. Yo, and yo, Pro Skater 4 changed up the formula of the series by introducing larger levels and mission-based gameplay. Tony Hawk's Underground builds off of these changes and uses them to introduce to us another big addition, a story. Playing as a customized skater, you start off as a Jersey nobody who finds themselves working their way up in the skating scene. As a result, most of the missions you do now are connected to the story. For example, instead of, hey, get this high score just because, you're now trying to impress people and gain notoriety with your skills. It just gives a little more weight to things, like you're actually accomplishing something. Sort of. Only sort of. Another big addition to the game is the ability to get off your board to run, jump, and climb your way around levels, allowing you better opportunities to explore or to set yourself up for tricks. For this playthrough, we will be completing the PlayStation 2 version of this game on sick difficulty. All missions, all stats maxed, and all gaps found. For Pro Skater 4, I ended up doing live streams of the game where I completed the gap list, but for this game, I'll be challenging myself to snag every gap as I go. And, as an added bonus, I'll be doing a run-through of every level from Pro Skater 1, 2, and 3. I did videos of these games a long time ago, and they really haven't aged well. So I thought it'd be kind of nice to show off some decent runs and just kind of take a look back on the series. Alright, you Z-Boys and Lords of Dogtown, it's time for... Take 3. 